Hello everyone. In the last video we have finished creating the ice cream bar 3D model. So this video is going to be the last in this series about creating the ice cream bar model using Blender. In this last video we are going to render this ice cream bar 3D model. So in order to render it first we will have to set up the camera. So in the outliner with the camera selected I will press the zero key from the keyboard this will set the view to camera. Now press the N key from the keyboard this will open this option and from here go to view and check this camera to view option. Now we can adjust the camera. After that uncheck this option and press the N key again to hide this menu. Now it's time to adjust the light. So we'll click on this light from the outliner then select this move tool and start adjusting the position of the light. Now from this data tab I'll adjust the strength of the light. Now I'll reposition the light a little bit. After that let's set the resolution of our the camera. I'm going to split the view by dragging from that upper right corner and then press 0 to set the view to camera on this left side. We are going to render the model at 2500 into 3000 pixel resolution. Now let's see the render view. Now press shift S and from this pie menu click on cursor to world origin to make sure the 3D cursor is at the center of the world origin. Now press shift A and choose an empty. Now I'll select the camera and from this tab select the empty we have just added in order to add a depth of field on the ice cream. After that let's press shift A again and add a plane. From this plane we are going to create a backdrop which will bounce the light on the ice cream. So let's move it on the Z axis. Enter edit mode by pressing tab and extrude this edge on the top. Now let's add a bevel modifier and adjust these settings to create the bevel similar to this. Then from the object mode right click and click shade smooth. Now on this left side press ctrl B and drag to see the rendered preview only within the camera boundary. I did some experiments with the lights so I have added an area light. Then make sure in the color management option the view transform is set to filmic. And if you are using a newer version of blender you can set it to AGX as well. And I have set the look to high contrast. Here's one last adjustment I want to make to the camera. Instead of taking the render from the front view, I think a 3 quarter view will be better. I'll adjust the backdrop accordingly. Now let's add a material to the backdrop and give it a dark grey color. Now let's add a point light and move it closer to the backdrop. I'll give this point light a warmer color and move it so from that from the camera view it appears right behind the ice cream. I'll reposition the empty a little bit to make sure the bright area gets the focus and we can change the render samples to be around 300. Then we can go to this render tab and click on this render image option. After the render is complete we can press alt s to save it. So this makes the ice cream bar 3D model complete. If you have enjoyed these videos then please give it a like and also feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section and consider subscribing for the upcoming videos.